are beautiful. Using the traditional foods of Sri Lanka, he creates meals that are fit for a king. Maybe those ancient kings will wake up, come back for their feasts. Grab a bite of island life in My Sri Lanka with Peter Kuravita every Saturday at 7.55 p.m. on Nat Geo Adventure. We've come a long way to get here. We've traveled the world over and back again. So now Nat Geo Adventure is ready for a transformation to a brand new channel, Nat Geo People. We bring you a real taste of life and a new breed of people. <laughs> Food and lifestyle. Welcome. Share our passion for fun with Nat Geo People, launching on Saturday, March 1st. Chef Alvin Leong heads to Jakarta for a near-death experience. This is called crash position in the airplane, okay? A smelly bean, bad breath experience. Hoping that your woman did not uh, smell like pataya. And a five-hour soup wrestling experience. Throw in a voluptuous guide, and Alvin's recipe for adventure is complete. Construction is like Halloween. You put on a different costume and you give somebody a fright, you give somebody a surprise. But you take it all off, you still have the same person. When you deconstruct something, you must always first get the DNA. You know, what is so special about that product? The customer must recognize the original dish from the DNA. At the end of the day, you are making food, so it must be eatable. This is Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia. Indonesian cuisine is famous for its use of local spices. So, in order to win the hearts of the locals, Alvin will need to capture these distinctive flavors. Local celebrity, Ade Fitria Sachan, has volunteered to take Alvin around. Hello. Hi, Alvin. Yes, where are you? Ah, look to your right. Hi, hi. She's a gorgeous girl. You can tell right away, you know, she loves food by her full figure. But you know, I'm not saying she's fat. We'll say put the fat part, she'll kill me. Okay. Hi! Hey, how are you? Hi, Alvin. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, so are you ready to get out of the the skyscrapers? I am ready to go anywhere you take me. Okay, I'll take you to the real Jakarta, the heart of Jakarta. Yeah. Real Jakarta is just 10 minutes walk away. The locals call this a kampong, the local version of a village. Ade wants to take Alvin for a traditional breakfast, but to get there, they'll have to take the local version of a taxi. This is your own private limousine. Great. The uh, Harley Davidson? <laughs> I wish. No, no, this is actually called a bajai. Okay. It's from India, but it's, it's the most traditional vehicle in Indonesia. Where's the seatbelts? <laughs> this, no, this is it. This Very is tight. what this is called crash position <laughs> in the airplane. It was quite a, a, a bumpy ride as well, but you know, it was really great fun. So we're here. It's a gado gado poro. So we're having gado gado. Gado gado. Gado gado means mix mix. It's a salad smothered in peanut gravy. So pagi bu. Pagi. Dengan ibu siapa? Bu Mariani. She's not done yet, but we can have a seat. In this kitchen, Ibu Mariani is totally in charge. No one is allowed to interfere, even her husband. VIP, VIP section. It's much cooler here. That's the terasi belacan. That's the Joachim place, right? Yes. Okay. 
a hundred portions. She said she does a hundred portions by hand every day. Okay, so you know, I I would hate to hand wrestle with her. Okay, chili, salt, and oh, the uh, shrimp. Your egg. favorite. My favorite. Itu apa? Ini gula. Uh, coconut sugar. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see. So she put in the lime juice. Think, yes. So you got some lime juice. Lime ya, bu ya. Yeah. Cucumber. Simon. She did everything in a small knife, almost like a pocket knife. So that was interesting. You see, my chef did that in my kitchen. I tell you, I would give them help. What, what's this? What's this? Can you ask what that is? Tempe. Oh, tempe, the bean bean curd. Is it lontong? Yes, these are the uh, rice cake. So it's, it's sticky rice? Yes, sticky rice. I noticed that, you know, when she was doing it, it's very dry. And I, I think I like it that way because when it's very dry, you can taste, you know, all the vegetable better. You can get the individual taste of all the vegetables. And also, you know, you're going to get, you know, all the textures as well. Mm. How is it? That's nice. I'm going to have one. Really nice. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Yeah. Too hungry. Too wait. The sticky rice and high calorie gravy make this an awesomely filling dish. But the moment the last bite is gone, a day's herding Alvin to lunch. Welcome to my humble home. Okay, well, it's um, <laughs> very, very humble indeed. <laughs> Hello, Ibu. Yeah, selamat siang. Dengan Ibu? Dengan Bu Endang. Bu Endang, saya Ade. Ini yeah. Chef Alvin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. And then, you know, we went to see the chef, and then she showed me how to do this dish, the shrimp pad thai. Lunch is a dish that incorporates pad thai beans, otherwise known as stinky beans. Not only do they have a pungent taste, they can also cause strong-smelling flatulence. This is the patai. Yes. Everything else you know, then. Right? Why the hell do people want to eat a smelly bean? Okay, I had the beans. It's not really stinky, but it's it's not a very unpleasant. I would say smell. It's not exactly like roses. Okay. It's nice and brown. Yeah. I would say crispy but brown. Yeah. You know, smell that garlic coming out. It you know, so good, that's yeah? garlic. Chili paste, right? Yeah. Her homemade chili paste. In India, cabe. And colorful. I love that in food and woman. And hoping that your woman do not uh, smell like pataya. No more. <laughs> pataya. Would you want to taste this really hot, sizzling, colorful? I can just taste hints of the time. It just tastes like like prawn and chili. But I noticed that I get a nice aftertaste, or, or or not. I wouldn't say a nice, but I get an aftertaste from the pad thai beans. So depending on what you want, you can just take the skin out, the yeah. shells before you cook it. Okay. It's, it's just, it's or you can have someone peel it for you yeah. afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> And shove it in your mouth. <laughs> Why the hell are we so early? We're going to Sederhana. It's a Padang restaurant where they're preparing the rendang, beef rendang, and they need like five hours to make it. Padang food hails from Indonesia's West Sumatra region and is one of the most popular foods in the country. This restaurant's chief, Chef Samon, has agreed to teach Alvin the secrets of its most famous dish, beef rendang. Good beef rendang takes a lot of time and a lot of energy. It starts with squeezing milk out of grated coconut. So this is really fresh coconut milk. Right. Okay. This is santan. Okay. Uh, so the coconut milk, milk, milk is going to be put there. Into the... Everyone has his own special blend of rendang spice.